Here you have your best friend, Chifuyu. On this video, I will reproduce the haircut and color. Hope you like it. Roll that tape, my friend. Here on the corner, you can see the storyboard that I'll be using. I will divide the top from the undercut, which will be the short, darker area on this design. With the three and a half comb, I will cut fast and not too short, just like I want it. My Octane Oyster Clippers will cut this like a butter. Do I sound like the BTS? Nah. To section the sides of the head, I will use the comb and I will pivot side to side. This will help me to determine the split from the front to the back. This is relevant to create a one of the kind haircut based on everybody's head shape. Using the freeform cutting with the feather razor, I will loosen up the section by pushing it up. I will condense the front side with my thumb and my index finger and avoid tension and shrink. Cutting this way, I will create a convex line with the shortest point in the ear. To section the bang area, I will use the same comb technique. This will help me to find the highest point of the bangs and start the triangle from that point. After that, I will comb diagonals and projection with the outside of the eyebrow. This will create the triangle section for the bangs. I will condense the hair on the center of the nose using the same technique that I did on the sides and I will carve with the razor the same line. To get some extra texture and make the bangs lighter, I will carve a second time on the surface of the bangs. Don't need to cut the whole segment, only the top part of it. The lines on the back will be diagonal backs to connect on the center, creating a V shape on the back. First, I like to create a target on the center of the back, creating this section. This makes it really easy to connect the side part to the center piece that I just created on a diagonal back. Just going short to long. Use the freeform technique with the razor to cut this section. If the hair you're working with is not good to be cut with the razor, use a point cutting system with the scissors. Follow the pictures on the corners so you can see what I'm trying to achieve. At the end of this video, I will reveal which look I will be posting next time. If you like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel, give it a like, and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. I need you on the channel. We need to get to 10,000. Help me out. We just passed the 5,000 fans. Thank you to all of you for all your support. It makes it fun to want to do another one. This haircut will work best with ovals, hearts, and diamond face shapes. I will not recommend this style if your face is short square or round but don't worry i'll be making other haircuts that work for you this haircut is perfect for all hair types if your hair is wavy or curlier you just need to leave it and leave it longer two or three fingers longer that is why i won't be using texturizing scissors on this style i just want to keep very separated not blended for this it's critical to observe how the hair lays on the top of the head to see the effect on the layers and sculpt the desired amount based on the effect that we want to do. Here you have this style without the bleach. It looks phenomenal. Now to be able to reproduce the look of Chifuyu, like an artist, I will do the color and the style for you guys. Here are some tips to do the decoloration using bleach. First, I will separate the long hair on the top from the undercard using the bleach and brushing it upwards with the brush. For this base tone, one application of bleach was good for this hair in 40 minutes. It's very important that the dark area on the undercut don't get any bleach on it. To help me with this, I will use two segments of plastic wrap to cover the dark area on the undercut. If you don't do something like this, you can end having some problems of bleach bleeding. I think getting this done is how Chifuyu came up with the idea of the mohawk style. What do you all think? Do I'm right? Observe how I apply the bleach on one section. First, I fill the roots from both sides, on the top and then on the bottom. Take your time to do this well and use enough product to achieve the goal. After that, I color the middles and the ends. These sections are not too thick, so I can distribute the bleach with my fingers, so every hair gets covered by the bleach. To let the hair dry naturally or blow drying with a brush, I will use two parts of paste and one part of wax from 1821. This cocktail will give you flexibility and texture to the hair. Perfect for Chifuyu look. For a more polished finish, I will use the round brush creating semicircles, shaping each segment. If you prefer a flatter hairstyle with less volume, use the flat iron and turn the ends with your wrist to create the semicircles. You can see this technique and some other of my videos. 
like the Eren Jagger. I had a lot of requests for Nanami Kento, 2021 winning anime at the Crunchyroll Awards, Jujutsu Kaisen. Let me know in the commentaries. This look will allow you to do a high ponytail, like you see Chifuyu do sometimes. This is why it's so important to separate well the hair when you are doing the color. Using the scissors on freestyle, I will carve the desired layers to add some defined texture. This in my opinion is best done when the hair is dry, with this technique. Definitely take your time, this is art. If you're a beauty professional, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description so you can see all my full tutorials. On those videos you can follow me step by step so you can do the same haircut with me. If you would like to have a professional doing this look for you, share this video with them one week prior to your appointment so they can get acquainted to the technique and the look. If you do this, they won't push you back and disregard your suggestion or because of lack of confidence on the moment. Observe how I craft each segment and check how each one looks in different directions. Use a little bit of 1821 hairspray on your fingers to define each segment. Next video on the channel will be Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul. Hope to see you all there, so hit that bell. This is Angel Del Solar making new friends.